the canvas. Um, you know, the deal is with the canvas is this. Everything's on the canvas. It should be pretty self-explanatory. The home page is the modules, lists out week one, day one, week you know, two, day two, et cetera, et cetera. I give you a list of instructions. The video lectures are in order. You just boom, 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 boom. Uh, in the instructions, there's a list of things to look out for for the exam. Super duper simple, okay? Pay attention to the dashboard. Um, there will be, um, you know, under your assignments is where you'll find the exams and the presentation description and all the, you know, the rubric for the presentation and all that. Obviously, the syllabus is in the dashboard. Um, the important, real important thing to note is the about, I mean, not the about, the pages. Um, pages is where you're going to find a few things. About, where you can read about Andre and all the dumb shit that I've done um, and see pictures of me with the god Rakim, the greatest MC to ever do it. Um, pictures of me with Jazzy Jeff, you know, just boasting about my connections, <laughs> um, you know, uh, but um, whatever, you can look at that. Uh, assignments, okay, this is a little bit redundant, but um, I'll list out, you know, the exam dates, um, what the exams will cover, uh, etc. there, as well as a, a link to the assignment description for the presentation, so you can, you can see that. Another important thing here is the points of power. This is where the slides are. So I do link to this in the module instructions, um, but you can find them all here. And they're organized by exam. So you, you look under exam one, you see the five slides. Now, here's the deal. The slides are for your boy. Um, I do a lot of freestyling from these, or like I'll show you an image of a map. And then I'll talk about why that map's important. So if you just said like, I ain't gonna watch this douche talk, you know, uh, I'm gonna just look at the slides. Well, that shit ain't gonna help you too much for the for the test. So, um, you know, you know, there's text text on the slides. There's plenty of text. There's plenty of stuff. But I talk. I do a lot of talking. Right? I know about this shit, so I talk about it. Right? Um, you know, I don't just have slides with tons of text on them and I just read from them. Um, so that's important. So the, the, the slides are there for you to use to, you know, to, uh, 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 you know, help you get through the video lectures, etc. There's a schedule there. You can check out. The real important thing here is a, um, is a page under pages called Things to Do Before Class. Things to do before class. I also link to this page in the module instructions at the beginning of each module. So say you're doing module week five, day one. Go down to the things to do before class, find week five, day one. It will list out all of the songs. You know, I'll have all YouTube links to the songs. There'll be a Spotify playlist to the songs. You can choose whatever you want. Um, there will be a readings that I want you to do, all this stuff before, before you do the module, before you watch the video lectures. These are, these are materials that I want you to consume. Um, I want you to know too that um, the exams will cover stuff in the readings and all that, but only what I talk about in class. So I don't actually test you on like some random minutia buried in a reading because I feel like that is just evil. <laughs> uh, so I don't, do, I don't do that. Okay, things to do before class. That's really, really important. And then there's a valuable resource where sources where I have a bunch of books, institutions, links to articles, you know, stuff that may, um, if you're really into this stuff, you can go check that out there. All right, so assignments. I don't accept late assignments unless you have some permission. I don't change exam times, you know, none of that, unless there's like an emergency or some sort of situation, which there seems to be a lot of friggin' emergencies lately. So I've been a little soft on that. So the couple exams are um, Thursday, October 22nd. Note that. Thursday, November 12th. Note that. And then our final exam is Wednesday, December 9th. Again, you'll have, um, you know, I believe an hour and a half to two hours block any time on those dates to complete those tests. Okay, so that's important. So you have any time during those days to complete those tests. Um, I'll provide you with an exam review guide um, so you know what to study. It will, this will be like, usually I do a Google Doc that everybody can add to and contribute to. Oh, Quicksilver. I love this girl right here.
Look at that. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Um, yeah, so I'll, I'll, I'll um, you know, I'll post an exam review guide. Um, I don't know, man. It's it it's pretty much, you know, 50 multiple choice, true false questions, and then a bunch of bonus questions, one point bonus questions. Um, you know, so whatever. Then lastly, there's um, a final presentation. This is due during finals week on Monday, December 7th by midnight. This is a five to seven minute presentation where you choose a song, okay? Um, and it's gonna be very simple. You basically choose a song and you kind of, I want you to do, you know, um, uh, you know, a deep analysis of its, you know, context of production, the meanings of the lyrics, the beats, you know, all that stuff. Talk a little bit about the artist, historicize it, etc. It sounds very vague. I'll do a video where I talk specifically about it. I give some examples. If you actually read the assignment description, I give you an outline of how I how I would do a presentation. Um, there's a one to three paragraph proposal for this due um, October 29th uh, on Canvas. Now listen, what you propose then doesn't have to necessarily be what you want to do. I'm just like a dad. You know, I want to keep you all on track, make sure you you're thinking and you're on the right course to having success um, on this project. You'll need to record, make slides, and then you'll you'll record this in Panopto. Um, in the assignment description, there's a there's instructions on how to use Panopto to do this, and then you need to upload that file to Canvas. Okay. Again, this is all in the full assignment description on 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 Canvas. Okay, but you'll need to upload that. Panopto video file of you giving your presentation um, onto Canvas by Monday, December 7th at 11.59 um, p.m. These will be viewed by only me. You don't have to do any comments or anything that or watch everybody's stuff, which I would like to do, but I'm not trying to overwhelm y'all um, with stuff. But, you know, um, I'm going to make it so you can view other people's presentations because I think you may find some interesting stuff in there. Okay, required texts. Check this out. There's no books for the class. All books, readings, podcasts, everything will be available online. Um, so I hope you have some good internets. I live in the country. Well, I actually live like literally like 12 minutes from campus, but I live far off the main road. So I have that country internet, that satellite, um, and it sucks. Um, so I know like, you know, there's some challenges for digital divide and people struggling with that. So hit me up if you have any issues with those, those sorts of things. But um, basically required text, everything you'll, you'll need to read or consume for this class will be uploaded to the things to do before class. You can download PDFs. Everything um, is there. Um, so that's why I want you to note, it, note that. Um, sometimes for the songs I want you to listen to, it may be an eight-minute song. I want you to listen to the 15-second drum break in that, and that's what I want you to know, right? Um, so I let you know that stuff um, because, um, you know, the exams, I still have to figure out how the fuck to do this, but, like, you need to be able to ID music, um, you know, so I'll play, like, a drum break for you, and you need to be able to tell me where that drum break uh, came from, you know, who, what that is or, you know, uh, acknowledge and no samples, etc. Um, so I'll figure out how to do that on Canvas, but that that will be part part of that too. Um, I'll give you a whole schedule. The schedule's tentative. It lists readings and viewings and all that stuff. Again, it's there. It's a tentative schedule. So things to do before class and the modules on Canvas is just really where that's all super concrete for y'all. Okay, but you can get a sense of of everything here. Damn, a lot of pages. 